is Canada even allow it um, to start microdosing um, psychological clients with with mushrooms instead of cannabis? Mm -hmm. Like one of the first things I did when I met Pauline is I we got together. I saw how many antidepressants and anti anxiety she was taking, mm -hmm. and I was able to get her off those within three months of microdosing mushrooms. And that was amazing. That was like a gateway to starting to get rid of all of these other pills that she had to take on a daily basis. So I had, have you thought about any of that? You know, I haven't dove in deep into like psilocybin and psychedelics. I absolutely believe that they have a place. Like we know ayahuasca works on the endocannabinoid dome. Like there's all of these plant medicines that I really, you know, that have been prohibited for so long that have so much potential. Um, I don't have like a lot of like, I haven't done a lot of studying on it. Just like I watched my husband microdose and like just night and day difference. Um, you know, like, you're cranky. Can you microdose please? Or, like, <laughs> you know, like, please. Yeah. Like, or uh, like singing. He's a musician that nourishes the endocannabinoids. So I'm like, go play your guitar. Your, grouch, your endocannabinoid system needs some support. Right. So <laughs> And I think it's just like, we're at this sort of place. And I think the pandemic brought us closer to that brink of just being really frustrated that we don't have the answers that we want or need. Um, and so then people are moving outside of that and um, like introducing those different sort of plant medicines. So yeah, I hope to see more, but I don't know a ton about mushrooms. So far my world's been filled with cannabis. So There you go. I just had to ask, cause usually like, when you're hanging with the cannabis community, they kind of go hand in hand. Totally. 